flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give the roll call, please. Council Lambert. Present. Council Roderick. Present. Councilor Ruda. Present. Councilor Durfee. Present. Councilor Bowling. Yep. Council Leonard. Present. Councilor Costa. Yep. All present. And we have the approval of the uh, regular council meeting of October 25th, 2010, and no executive session held on October 25th. Make a motion that we approve those minutes. Seconded. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Approval of the prior executive session minutes. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? <coughs> Mr. President, may I uh, make a motion to add something to the agenda that might follow the acceptance of the minutes? He's promised me that he's going to behave himself. And I'm asking that we add to the agenda uh, Jay uh, Edwards, who has a few words for the council. I make a motion that we have. Uh, yep. Second. Motion seconded. Discussion, seeing none, all those in favor? Mr. Edwards? <coughs> Thank you, members of the council. I'll be, I'll be, will be brief. <coughs> I have with me this evening uh, citations for the retiring members. And one of the things that you get to see when you do these, you get to see a little bit of research. And I found that the four people who are retiring this evening have over 45 years of public service on the town council alone. Not only are they four people I've served with, but they are four people I would definitely call friends. They are first Hannibal Costa. I'm glad I made the motion to get down the agenda. <laughs> For your four years of outstanding and dedicated service to the citizens of, of the town of Tiverton as councilman of the town of Tiverton town, town Council. And as many people also know, Doc was also our town clerk for a number of years. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a person I actually got to, was able to walk with my first campaign. Honorable Joanna Ruda, for six years of outstanding and dedicated service to the citizens of the town of Tiverton as Vice President and Councilwoman of the Tiverton Town Council. <laughs> and to the Honorable Donald Bolin, <coughs> for 15 years of outstanding and dedicated service to the citizens of the town of Tiverton as president and councilman of the town of Tiverton. Grown on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, this one actually surprised me. Honorable Louise Durfee. For 20 years of outstanding and dedicated service to the citizens of the town of Tiverton, as past president and councilwoman of the Tiverton Town Council. Thank you. I told you I'd be brief. Thank you. <coughs> from the retiring council members wishing to speak mr. president if I may yes first of all I'd like to begin by thanking uh, uh, Jay for going through the trouble to get these for us I, <coughs> it feels nice let me say I think I'm, what I'm going to do is run for the town council can we reschedule the election <laughs> <laughs> now what I really like to do is what normally uh, I think you will hear at a time like this <clears throat> I would really like to thank the people of Tiverton for having uh, elected me so many times uh, I really appreciate their support and uh, hope I did 
of what you wanted me to do. Um, well, enough. Short speeches tonight, I guess. Yeah, thank you all very much. Mr. President, uh, I'd like to take this time as well to thank the, uh, the, the very uh, dedicated citizens of this town who have elected me and trusted me with their, with their um, issues and their votes. Um, it was a pleasure to serve everyone in the town, and uh, that was what I set out to do when I walked over 2,000 houses many six years or seven years ago. And um, it's been a pleasure to do uh, business with and work with our um, town administrator, all of our really dedicated and um, trusted department heads. <clears throat> I want to thank each and every one of them for their cooperative spirit in their work every day with serving this town and all of us and keeping us safe while they're at it. <coughs> and lastly, I want to thank my, uh, my husband Jim and my family for putting up with all those burnt hot dogs and hamburgers because I'd run in from work, try to cook <coughs> supper, eat, and then try to run here to all our meetings. Um, I really enjoyed this tenure and uh, now this torch will be passed to a new set of council members who I would hope that would entrust everyone's um, respect and uh, ability to work together in a collaborative spirit because everyone is counting on it. And it's not one group of people, it's the, the town, the entire town. As we've always said, Mrs. Black and I, that we are one zip code. 02878 and when we're in one town and we're all neighbors and we want to just keep the respect and cooperation in the spirit of the town alive. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Um, I too, uh, uh, I was thinking over the weekend, you know, over the period of years that I have served off and on on the council, it's probably about 5,000 votes that you take in the course of that. And then I thought, well, it's probably a surprise that I haven't been run out of town earlier than that. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wanted to uh, uh, thank the people that really do the work in this town. And it's not just the volunteers and the people that serve on committees. My hat's off to you. But to the heads of our departments, public safety, our tax assessor, um, and all the other, I've overlooked, I'm sure, some of them. Janice Gomes, she does a terrific job at the <coughs> Senior Center. And I don't know if they're all here, but I would hope they take a bow. But there is somebody, our own administration. Jim, I want to thank you. And Nancy, and I must tell you a little story about Nancy, because Nancy really is the mother hen. She may be the town clerk in this town, and that's her formal title, but she is the mother hen to this council. And she'll be the mother hen to the next council, and the councils <coughs> after that. She actually, we're part of her brood and her children, because she worries about us. Do we have the right information? Are we acting on it in a timely way? Um, she'll drive us all crazy and she'll drive you crazy, but things do get done. So, um, and her sidekick, Leona, it's been a pleasure and it's, I am personally grateful for all the department heads, the public say, you know, it's a hard thing in this environment being a public employee. And I hope at some point we will be able to help and sort of restore some of the um, help that we need to give our employees, particularly the department heads, that carry us night and day. And personally, I just want to thank all of you for all the help that I have been given over the years. So with that, thank you very much. Thank you, Town of Tiverton. I'll keep it briefer than that. I want to thank all the people, the, the, the residents of the town of Tiverton for giving me the honor and privilege of being able to sit here and serve you for 15 years. Thank you.
I just want to say that, uh, yes, I have been here for quite a few years, but I've only been clerk for six years. So all the knowledge I've had on this and all the training I've had has come from the council. Thank you. And I do appreciate all the concern and respect that they have given to me. I know it's a difficult position to be on the other side of the table. I have the luxury of sitting back and not having to make the difficult decisions. There's been great decisions, good decisions, fair decisions, and what are you thinking decisions. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I respect every one of them and the work that they put into those decisions. I did want to say that tonight um, for a little, uh, a little something that we gave the counselors, I do not think any one of these counselors that have served so well the community would want a plaque with their name on it. So what I tried to do was get something that would give back to the community. And what they actually have, I hope I haven't offended anybody or I will get you a plaque with your name. <laughs> <laughs> I have gotten them uh, a book bag from the library and the tile from the library. Oh so that the funds spent will go back into the library building fund. And also, with the help of uh, Mr. Gary Plunkett, we have gotten them Weedemo Woods <laughs> t-shirts <laughs> and a Weedemo Woods cap because those <coughs> funds spent on these will go right back into our open space. So I do want to thank you, and um, I hope you weren't expecting more than that. <laughs> I, I do have one uh, other presentation. It is for Louise for her 20 years. It is with the help of Mr. Um. Plunkett. And this, I, we know your love of the birds, and this is a poster on uh, the birds of Weedemo Woods. Oh, that's so oh. nice. So, this is <laughs> Tonight, swearing in our uh, newly elected officials is will be uh, Judge Scott Nebegall. Scott has uh, been our municipal court judge for the entire time of uh, our municipal court, with the exception of two years. Uh, he's done an outstanding job and will continue to do so. And it's with my privilege to uh, introduce Scott Nebegall and allow him to swear in this new council. Thank you very much, John, uh, and members of the town council, thank you. Uh, so without further ado, if I could get all of the newly elected officials and those uh, that have been reelected to come forward, we will administer the oath. I'm going to do this all at once, so if we could just kind of gather around here. <coughs> <clears throat> do we have everyone? Or do I see people heading for the door? That's the last chance. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Jim, step right in there. Okay, if you would all raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I, state your name, do solemnly swear that I will support, enforce, and abide by the Constitution and the laws of the United States and of the state of Rhode Island that I will. In all, respects, in all respects, observe the provisions of the charter, and ordinances of the town of Tiverton, and, and faithfully discharge the duties of. Now, please state the office for which you've been elected. For the town of Tiverton. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Congratulations. Okay, the newly elected council will, the newly elected council will please take a seat and we'll conduct the election for president. Um, I'll begin with a roll call. Councilor Shabbat. Present. Councilor Lambert. Present. Councilor Coulter. Present. Councilor Nelson. Present. Councilor Roderick. Present. Councilor Lambert. Oh, I'm sorry, Councilor Leonard. <laughs> present. And Councilor Pelletier. Yes, present. All present. I'll now accept nominations for president. I'd like to make a motion to nominate Jay Lambert for president. We have a nomination for Mr. Lambert. Do I have any other nominations? Okay, then we will declare Mr. Lambert. Second. <coughs> you don't need a second for nomination, so we're okay. So if no other nominations, we will take a vote and declare Mr. Lambert as president. Thank you. Do we have any nominations for Vice President? Uh, I would like to nominate uh, Cecil Leonard as Vice President. Are there any other nominations? Mr. Leonard, you're Vice President. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tonight's uh, consent agenda consists of the following items. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, do we have any remarks from some of the uh, newly elected members of the town council? If, if I may, Mr. President, I would like to go first. You're first. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to welcome the new members. Um, before I, I speak to each one of you, I want to thank the outgoing council. Uh, starting with the former president, Don Bolin. Uh, Don was a, an excellent shepherd of this council uh, for the two years that I was on it, and uh, his knowledge and his dedication to the town will surely be missed. Mr. Costa, I will miss your wit. I will miss your irreverence to state authority, and the knowledge and the dedication that you have given this town, I can tell you, will surely be missed. <laughs> That's right, Doc. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Aruda, there are times we didn't see eye to eye on everything, but I learned a lot. I learned that you had to be dedicated to the town as a whole, and for that I thank you. And last but not least, Louise Durfee. Louise and I have had a love-hate relationship. <laughs> And I will tell you, I have learned a lot from Louise. One thing I learned is dedication and knowing that this town will be here long after we're gone, but we are now the stewards of Tiverton. And I learned from her that you have to do what is right for the entire town. It may not be what you want personally, but you have to do what's best for everyone. And for the outgoing council, I thank them because they made me a better person. 
and I thank them all. Do we have any other remarks? I would like to um, say just one or two words. The, um, first, I want to thank everybody that I had the privilege to serve with on the previous council. And I echo Ed's words. Uh, they are indeed correct. Um, I learned from all of them, and I think I'm better because of it. Um, and I also want to thank the folks that supported me in the most recent election. And with that, I'll just say thank you one more time. Mr. Nelson? I'd like to thank all the, all the voters of Tiverton for their trust and confidence in uh, electing me to the town council. And I'd also like to thank um, uh, Joanne and Louise, Don and Hannibal for their, for their decades of service to their town of, uh, to the town of Tiverton. Thank you very much. Mr. Coulter. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to share some remarks. Uh, I actually just a few moments ago resigned uh, as vice chair of the Tiverton Budget Committee, uh, and I'd like to thank my colleagues from that committee uh, for all of their service as well. I've learned a lot with them, and I really appreciate their support. And I do, uh, I, I do just want to, to say that though this is a very happy moment uh, for everybody, that we must all bear in mind that we're having some very difficult financial times and that we all need to make sure that we understand that we are here not for any uh, one neighborhood, any one special interest, any one favored constituent, but we're here for the entire town of Tiverton, and that includes those that are most uh, in need during this time of recession. And I commit uh, to you that they will have a voice at this table. Thank you. Mrs. Shabbat. Mr. President, um, I'll be brief. Um, I want to reiterate the words of my fellow council uh, members. Um, I do appreciate the uh, voters of the town of Tiverton for giving me this opportunity to serve uh, in the public arena. I'm very much looking forward to working with the members of the town council and other members of the uh, clerk's office, the town administrator, town solicitor, and all the department heads budget committee, <laughs> and if I've forgotten anyone, well, you're all included, um, including the people of this town. Um, I think we have a mix of experience on the new town council. We have experienced members. We have new members. A um, person like myself who's never uh, been uh, worked on a town council before. Um, young, old, oops, shouldn't have said old, <laughs> <laughs> mature. Um, and I think we have uh, a, a good mix that we can work as a team and get a lot accomplished for this town. Thank you very much. We have a limited amount of. Oh. That's I'm all sorry, right. Mr. Pence. That's quite I'm all sorry. Right. I'm looking to my right. Uh, That's all right. And, but I should look to my left as well, shouldn't I? <laughs> Mr. Pelletier, you have some remarks for us. Yes. Um, thank you all very much uh, for, for coming and, uh, and you know, making this a fairly memorable occasion for us all. Um, and thank you to those um, you know, who voted for, for all of us uh, individually. I think uh, together as a council, we can, we can you know, put our minds together and, and do some, some good work to effect some lasting change, um, sort of to, to, to speak to what uh, Ed said earlier, uh, it really is about um, what we do up here and, and what we do as citizens, more about who's here tomorrow and who's here you know, in 100 years than it is about um, you know, who, was, who was here before us and, and what, 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 what immediate consequences there are. Um, so I think this sort of, I think we're all of the same mind in this, that we're, we're looking forward. And I think, I think that's something you can all um, look for in, in the future here. And I hope, I hope we do a good job and make you proud, so thank you. The uh, consent agenda consists of the following items. 
receipt of minutes from the following boards and commissions, Waste Water Management, Tiverton Tree Commission, Tiverton Arts Council, Open Space Commission, Pocasset Hill Cemetery Commission, Historic Cemeteries Commission, and acceptance of a resolution proclaiming November as National American Indian Heritage Month. Is there any... And there is no correspondence. Is there any item to be removed from the consent agenda for further discussion? Uh, Mr. President, I make a motion that we accept the consent agenda. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Those opposed? Unanimous. Under new business, we have one item, and our town clerk, Mrs. Mello, has a proposed schedule for the remainder of the uh, year 2010. <coughs> that in your packet. Okay. You have a listing of the so scheduled uh, that our meetings are approved once a year and sent to the Secretary of State. So those are the remaining okay. you have to cancel when you're at. But okay. I, I'm also requesting that on the 29th, it has been the practice of the council <coughs> to hold the fifth, a month's with the fifth Monday for any workshop or business that may come before you. Sometimes you don't have it, but if it does come. Because we have licenses and we have put off some business uh, in the last couple of meetings, trying to keep it light to move towards new council, um, I would suggest that we try a special meeting on November 29th just to get some of the business through. We have licenses and a very heavy November 22nd meeting. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the meeting schedule for 2010? set out on attachment B1. So moved. Second. Mr. Mr. President. May, I don't believe the new councilors have any of this information. Or at least I don't. Oh, so. tab, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got an agenda and okay. that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. Wasn't it uh, electronically sent to everyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, so. uh, actually, the, this, this leads me to my point. The, the two other meetings, it's November 22nd is the regular meeting. <laughs> 29th when we're asking for a special meeting because of all the the items that we haven't gotten to um, with, with like tonight being a ceremonial meeting and also all the licenses that come up for renewal at the end of November by state law um, but also you've got December 13th and December 27th the 27th is the Monday after Christmas mm -hmm. so if you're reapproving that schedule I don't know if you want to just leave that for now and think about it yep. when you get closer or decide sooner if you want to move or reschedule that meeting. I think for December the 27th, we'll wait until the, to the uh, December 13th meeting. Other than for that, the schedule includes what's been outlined, including the uh, council meeting proposed for November 29th. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the schedule as attached to B as a B1 to the agenda? Okay, we, we already had a motion. Yeah, okay, do we have that so second? We just need to vote. Okay. Yep. okay. Uh, those in favor? Those opposed? And I take it, uh, looking at the agenda here, that we have no executive session. Is that right, Mr. Gonsalo, Mr. Tights? We didn't think you'd want one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we, leave everybody else out here with the refreshments and have you in the office doing the executive session didn't seem to be fair. Okay. And do we have a motion for an adjournment? So moved. Second. 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 All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you.